What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army, man. Before we even get too far in this video, I gotta give y'all a huge shout out for running the collection video up to 300,000 views. But 300,000 people has been able to see the vault at Army. This is just the beginning, man. Hopefully I'm able to move a couple things around and we can actually see the vault how I actually envision it to be. But again, shout out to you guys for getting the collection video up to 300,000 views. Also, if you are new over here, make sure y'all check out my video I posted like two days ago where I literally went through every Air Jordan release that we will be getting in 2022 from March all the way through December. Check that video out. It took me like two days to film and edit that army so make sure y'all show support for that video army i want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video shop gld man i know look every time i facetime like my mom or flight or somebody they're like man bro who you trying to be mr t with all the gold around your neck shout out to shop gld who are officially licensed by the mlb nba and nfl i guarantee you your favorite rapper is getting their jewelry from shop gld and they have things in everybody's price range started from a hundred dollars all the way up to like ten thousand dollars so it fits everybody budget from solid gold to white gold to earrings to bracelets to pendants to watches you grab everything from shop gld make sure y'all click on my link in the description section below so that way y'all can get some flat jewelry to match with y'all flat kicks i mean after y'all purchase from shop gld make sure y'all screenshot it send me what y'all got and i'll show y'all the new piece that i just picked up it's a surprise but i'll go ahead and show y'all let's get it so army i was coming back from my parents house and i was just thinking about like the current state of the sneaker world the current state of the sneaker community and it's like whenever i'm just driving my mind is just always just thinking about content and just thinking about you know just the evolution on the sneaker world and just how i can continue to deliver some good content for y'all and i thought about this upcoming price change on the air jordan ones now to a lot of people that's not you know a major factor you know starting in october after starting in october with the air jordan one chicago reimagined for those who didn't catch my video i posted it a few days ago retail price on the air jordan one will go up from 170 to 180 now that's a ten dollar increase and again a lot of people probably just think like break it's 10 bucks but if you think about it, you got a $10 increase on the Air Jordan 1s. Gas is like $5, $6 per gallon. Food ain't getting cheaper. The cost of living ain't getting cheaper. Everything is starting to go up, right? But out of everything I just named, most of these things are necessities to live like gas, food. But when it comes to sneakers, our demand for sneakers never go down as well. If anything, the demand of sneakers is still trending up. Now, resale value on certain shoes is flatlining. But we got to think about it this, Army. It's basic economics. Again, supply and demand. Like, for instance, the Nike Dunk Panda Lows that dropped yesterday. It was almost 150,000. 150,000 pairs of the Panda Dunk Lows that dropped yesterday. And the majority of the members in the Army, while we were live, took L's. Now, the crazy thing is where it had the most supply, a lot of people took L's, but where it had the lowest supply, I was able to get a dub on a Tyler pair, wifey was able to get a dub on a Tyler pair, and I was able to get a dub on a preschool pair. Now, I'm speaking on the dunks first because we haven't seen the dunks get touched just yet, right? For the most part, dunks are still at $100 a pop, but the demand for dunks is still trending up, and I guarantee you this, most of the time when I say something is going to happen when it comes to Sneakers Army, it happens. Like, again, from my video, and again, I'm, I'm going to keep diverting back to this video because... Even though it was an hour-long video, I want you guys to check it out. In that video, Z Sneakerhead mentioned that we got a potential Air Jordan 7 OG that's dropping the day after Black Friday. And he gave us a colorway. It always sounded like the Air Jordan 7 Cardinal. And in that video, I was just like, I'm calling it now. It's going to be the OG Cardinals. This time we always get a shoot during Black Friday, and it's always an OG. So I'm calling it. Bam, it wind up happening. So these Nike Dunks. I don't know if it's gonna happen next year, but if it does not happen next year, 2024, I guarantee you that the price of the Nike Dunks will go up from 100 bucks to either 110 
115 or 120 and 9 out of 10 is going to be 110 because they like to give us like this $10 increase and again it's because of the demand we're currently still in the process of actually getting used to the price change on regular Air Jordans like the Air Jordan 4s or the Air Jordan 6 some of these sneakers are retailing at $200 some of them are retailing at $210 and to be blunt with y'all I really don't know the price of a shoe until they scan it in store and then I actually see what it is because now that they don't have the retail price on the shoe, it's hard to tell. Some people be like, hey, break, my hip has charged me $200 for the Air Jordan 13, but when I went to Foot Locker, they would charge me $210. It's, it's hard for us to decipher what's the actual price. But one thing we can decipher is that sneakers are getting tougher to grab. Like, as much as they trying to do this butt protection, all these apps, this and this and that, it's still tough to grab these shoes. And on top of that, the price of the shoes are increasing retail value. And I'm trying to say it's going to get to a point where Jordan brand and Nike will probably start getting some pushback from its consumers. Now, this is something that we have yet to see. We got a lot of people saying that, man, look, I don't support resellers, but then they go buy off StockX. Then we got people who say, man, it's retail over anything, and then they go buy and go. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like until we literally stop showing that resale exists in the sneaker community these companies are going to continue to raise the price look at it like this this is like having a lemonade stand okay you got a lemonade stand and somebody else got a lemonade stand you like you know what i'm gonna be for the people and i'm gonna charge a dollar per cup of lemonade but then you see a block down the street is somebody charging 150 for eliminate and they still getting the same amount of business as you get it eventually you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna be like man look bro if if they able to charge 150 and they down the street i can charge 125 and my business is still gonna bust because i'm still cheaper than them so then it just gets to a game where when resale continues to get high retail is gonna continue to get high it's like a love-hate relationship again nike and jordan brand did not start increasing the price of air jordan ones until they start seeing the demand until they start seeing people paying four five six seven hundred dollars in order to get these air jordan ones so in the back of their head is just like bruh and we got people going to StockX and paying five hundred dollars for a pair of air jordan ones why can't we charge them retail at 180 dollars it's still cheaper than what they doing over here. We just adding an extra $10 on top of retail. But then you got people that don't get the shoes for retail. And then you look at it, everybody is affected. Just imagine being a person who always gets your shoe for retail. Now you got to continue to pay more every two to three years because, you know, resale is at a high and these companies are seeing it and they taking advantage of it. They are taking advantage of it. I guarantee you if we was only paying retail on all sneakers, these prices will not go up as gradually as they do. Because at one point, Retro Ones was 140, then they went to 160, and then they went to 170. That 160 to 170 time frame was not long. I wanna say that was what, like a two to three year time frame? Even the Retro 11s, I remember when I first started grabbing retro 11s in like 2010 retro 11s was like 185 175 you know what i'm saying retail retail wasn't 200 dollars and then it didn't go to 210 and now it's at 225 because they know the demand for retro 11s is going to keep doing it why you don't think that the retro twos and the retro eights and stuff was at 190 for so long 190 retail was a long time for jordan brand now i see again time is changing everything is going up everything is going up the price of living is going up the price of make things is going up but again it was a long time frame from when nike and jordan brand had that 190 price tag and then they finally went up to 200 their jordan ones really got hot in like 2013 and they retailed at like 140 it ain't even been a 10 year period and they already went up 40 bucks Again, it took some time for them to go from 190 over to 200 as far as regular retail sneakers. But then again, like I said, some sneakers are retailing at 210. Some is retailing at 220 because we don't have that suggested retail on the box army. And, and I'm just here to ask y'all this. When is enough enough? When are we eventually going to just say, hey, that's it? You know, when the average retro is $250, and then we paying $300 retail for a pair of retro 11s? It's going to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bound to happen. Again, if they wasn't seeing these retros selling for five, six, seven hundred dollars on the aftermarket, if, if that wasn't happening, I feel like they wouldn't have enough reasoning to continue to increase those prices. Because if I was Nike, and let's just say I was in Nike, and I had to speak in front of all of the sneaker heads in the world, and then the main question was, why y'all keep going up on the price of y'all sneakers? And I can easily say, Y'all paying six, seven hundred dollars for this shoe. We charging y'all two hundred and twenty-five dollars for the shoe. So we still give me all a better bargain. And I understand that. I would be like, okay, that's cool. But if it's almost impossible, like for these Nike Dunks, the Nike Dunk has that dropped this morning. I feel like at one point it was easy again for me to get dubs on Nike.com. But because the demand is so high, because the resale on these dunks is high, it's dang near impossible to get these sneakers for retail. And this ain't no, you know, salty for taking L's. This ain't no, man, you know, I wish this stuff was easier, this stuff was more fair. It's not that. I just feel like because of the secondary resale market, it's giving these companies validation to continue to increase their prices. And again, the main reason they're going to say is you're spending triple on these. Stop spending triple on these shoes and maybe we will just continue to adjust our price. Because if all of these sneakers went on sale at 110, just imagine every retro you, you said, you know what, I'm not spending no more than 150. And we forcing these stores to put these shoes on sale. I can't tell you the last time I seen some retros on sale sitting in a store with a sales tag on it gotta be at least four three to four years it gotta be before i talk y'all ear off to death because this is just something that i probably should have did a live on so that way we can get more back and forth conversation and then again i still may do that do y'all think if we said look everybody we're not gonna spend no more than let's just say we're not gonna spend no more than 150. of course at right now that's impossible because retail is more than 150. But if they was a force to drop them prices down, they see the average sale on a pair of Jordans is now 150 when they go on sale. I highly doubt they are going to continue to increase the prices of the product when people aren't even paying what retail is. Again, this is something in a fantasy world. I don't think that this will happen because even if you got majority of the people saying, hey, we're not going to buy it. You still got that minority that's still going to spend that money and still going to try to resell it. So all honesty, Army, this was just one of those videos to kind of get y'all wheels turning and just like man like what is the solution that's the real question to ask what is the solution because i feel like when the price is already up it's not gonna come down nike not gonna make these jordans go from 190 to 175 again it, it's not gonna happen but i'm gonna end it off with this army and <laughs> y'all know i love my chicken wings so this is a good example my way back home from cleveland from all-star weekend last month uh the driver who was taking me to the airport we was just talking, man, and you know how you just get random conversations in like an Uber. And he brought up chicken wing prices out of nowhere. He, he don't even know I'm a chicken connoisseur. He don't even know that. We were just talking about how high everything is now. Man, look, it was a chicken shortage, and the price of chicken wings went out the roof. Now, let's say that shortage is no longer here. These companies is not going to lower the price of chicken back down because you still got people out here already paying these high prices for chicken wings. Army, I swear to y'all, this is a real conversation that I had with somebody. He was like, the price of chicken wings are already high, but they still selling down in stores even though the price has doubled within the last couple years. So even when the economy fixes itself, those high prices on chicken wings is probably going to stay that high because your average consumer is still spending it. Why would you lose money by cutting back and going back down on the price of the chicken wings when they already are high and people are still paying it. And when he said that, the first thing I thought about was sneakers. Why would Nike bring down the price of their sneakers when you already got people paying the high and double and triple over that? Only thing that's gonna make them do is continue to push the price up higher to see, man, look, we're gonna make it, we're gonna tag on an extra five, tag on an extra 10. We ain't getting no pushback, ain't nobody complaining. Okay, in two years, we're gonna throw on another $15. Ain't nobody complaining, they still paying this resale. Okay, let's throw on an extra five, $5. And by the time you look up, we are literally paying $250 for regular releases, and we're paying $3, $320 for retro 11s. That's how I see it going. 
I don't see this being a two to three year jump, but as long as Jordans and sneakers are still relevant, the prices are going to continue to go up because it's a new sneaker head born every day. Resale is here to stay. I want y'all to know that, and I'm not saying that as a bad or a good thing. I'm just saying resale is never going away. Unless they make a law saying that this is breaking the law, but then again, you still gonna have people finesse in the system, Army. I love you guys, I appreciate y'all. Comment down below, let me know how y'all feel about this. Also, Army, again, with all of the dope sneakers we got dropping this year, make sure you grab your rejuvenator sneaker cleaner. Make sure you're protecting your investments. Make sure you're protecting the sneakers that you're wearing. Grab your water stain repellent, your sneaker cleaner, your bristle brush, your laundry detergent system for your Yeezys, your sole protectors for those who don't want to get them icy blue soles dirty. Use my link in the description section below. Give you 10% off all rejuvenated product. Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stand strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. Eat a plug, call them when I need them. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yours old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laughs. Two laughs, cause your ass taking nails.